Good afternoon, everyone. So it's December the 31st. Wishing everyone a happy new year tomorrow, as this is the eve. Things are coming along. I've had a really good year as far as I'm concerned, because I'm still moving today. And I guess I will tonight. And that'll put me another year anyway in the making. Uh, little kratom trees here with the few light freezes we've had and the frost and all are bit back and I intend to do that video on the third but here lately I don't know what it is I'm on my iPad right now uh, this is the horseradish um, see, I was going to show over here the new growth that's still trying to come back on the uh, moringa and it'll get bit because we're supposed to have a freeze in the next few days over the weekend or sometime uh, that's the elephant garlic is still looking pretty good Just reflections of my greenhouse that I have really been pleased with the way the thing turned out and the way it's doing. It is over 110 in here right now, and the humidity's way up. I have potted up around 300 over the past couple of days. That was the sweater boxes. There's still a few more. I ran out of potting soil and stopped and did that and had to run to the bank this morning and square up all my finances where I'm closing the year out looking pretty good. And that's always a blessing that you can close out on a good note. And I like ending the year that way. Some more of them. Uh, I, like I said, I did the video a while ago, and I couldn't on the Kindles, and I couldn't get it to upload on the Kindles, so I'm doing it on the iPad now, and I'll see if I can get it uploaded. I repotted some of the ginger that I had dug up to have some fresh one and be able to share some out, and I multiplied it into 14 more pots and still got quite a few pots that I've got to get out, but I've kind of run down on space a little bit these are the green malaise and got some really nice new growth coming on them but they're one of the ones that I've been asked about uh, plants will they come back after they shed their leaves and all and I do mine have always done it and this year they have held their leaves better than in years past and I think it's part of the uh, keeping the humidity up and it being as warm which I've had the heaters on last night we got down to 42 but whenever I opened up first thing this morning in here it was 62 so I'm going to be doing that for the next forever <laughs> uh, one I think it's Friday night that it's only supposed to be down in 60s, and I won't run them then, but these nights, whenever it's going to be down in 40s and 50s and all that, because I am have those new potted plants, and uh, I'm looking to start taking cuttings. I'm trying to get some more new growth out here on them to start taking the cuttings again. And I'm going to trim a lot of these down to where I can reach them better and take care of them better. Uh, this is one that had lost almost all of its leaves. And uh, it's the first um, refat that I call H. It's the one I got from my friend Hector. I won it in a little contest. And... Uh, Anyway, it had 
really suffered from the pH problem that I had, which I think I have corrected now. It's just taking time because of the chemicals in the pots, and at this time of year, I'm not fixing to be repotting plants these this size and all during the middle of winter, and that's just my preference. So later in the spring, I'm going to try to rework them some, but for now, and the color is really coming back on them with the shade cloth up there. A lot of this is turning out. It's really too dark to, to see just how well everything is doing. The little, the little Kindle, I think, showed some of it better and the new growth and everything and the color on them. Anyway, like I said, I was trying to there's a little longer video on that, but on my iPhone here, I, iPad, I really need to keep this short. I don't want to use up all the storage space on it with a video. So, but I've been asked about uh, large quantities of plants that people were wanting to plant acres of land in the trees. And... Somewhere right now, I've got around 750, so if there's somebody that's interested in buying in quantity and coming and getting them, then talk to me, and we'll see what we can get worked up. I'd sure like to go into the year on a positive note instead of just a, a good note, and which my good note is a blessing anyway. I'm wishing everyone a happy new year. Be careful out there tonight because not everyone might observe the laws the way some of us do. I'll stay home and do my drinking and partying and take care of my puppy dogs because all the fireworks and the um, guns going off scares them to death. So those are the pregnant onions. That's the flower on the pregnant onions. And so so much of that the purple shamrocks being in flower over there lifts my soul hope everyone has a happy new year and a prosperous new year coming up blessings all 